So Mosaic dropped a pretty wild data set of 1.26 million 360 images of Prague. Now, if you're a researcher, creator, or developer that's into 3D AI and geospatial stuff, I think you're going to want to play with this. Here's the scoop on this rather crispy 15 terapixel data set and all the crazy things you can do with it. But first off, the specs are kind of nuts. We're talking about 200,000 panos in 13K resolution. And not just the stitch panos, but also the 1.2 million source images. Now, the resolution is not quite Google Street View level, but the pano density is way higher. We're talking an image every meter, which means it's perfect for all sorts of 3D reconstruction tasks. And the pose accuracy is also great. Calibration information, all of that stuff is included. And we're talking two centimeter pose accuracy, by the way. What's really cool is that this data set was captured with a global shutter camera system, the six lens mosaic X camera. Uh, this is what it looks like mounted on top of a car. They've also got backpack variants. Now, I want to show you the really crispy texture detail. I mean, look at that facade detail, the bricks, the windows, all that high frequency detail is reconstructed beautifully. I think this is a game changer for urban modeling. You can also obviously nerf it, splat it, do whatever the heck you want. And of course, make your top down orthos, elevation maps, all the usual artifacts that you're used to in the geospatial world. There's so many applications for this stuff, right? Like you want to throw it into Unreal Engine and suddenly have a next-gen video game environment, or maybe you want to use this as a virtual set for virtual production use cases, virtual tourism, the list goes on. Or maybe you prefer driving instead of walking, well, you could certainly make a GTA Prague edition. This is also a 3D digital twin of a city, so you can start training robots in it, right? Like if you want to create synthetic training data and basically have an environment where you can train your robots, creating all sorts of long tail scenarios, you can do that too. Now, speaking of driving, visual effects is a huge use case. So the company that captured this data set, Mosaic, actually worked with Scanline, a visual effects studio, uh, for the 2022 movie called Gray Man. And as you can see over here, it was utilized to basically blend live action plates with synthetic footage and basically cause a lot of destruction, right? So if you want your CG elements interacting realistically uh, with a real world environment, this type of data set is pretty freaking cool. Okay, now let's talk about coverage. These folks actually went through the pain of capturing all the dead end roads. So all the blue dots that you see on this map are 360 panos. That is really, really awesome coverage. I like to call these type of data sets a sandbox data set. Super high density for this area that you can reconstruct in immaculate detail. And so this is what it looks like when you zoom in. The pose accuracy is really, really good. Again, two centimeters. Okay, so what can you do with this data set? So many use cases, object recognition, image segmentation, semantic scene understanding, visual navigation, visual positioning, 3D reconstruction, architectural preservation, the list really goes on. And of course, all the really cool radiance field stuff. Or if you prefer semantic point cloud generation and segmentation, you could do that too. I think given how popular large scale 3D reconstruction research is, especially when applied to radiance fields, I think this data set is prime for academics to work with. Okay, and the cherry on top. This data set is available for free for non-commercial use under this rather permissive Creative Commons license. Basically, these folks are saying, yo, here's some awesome data. Go make some cool stuff. Fill out this form that I'll drop in the comments below in order to get access. And lastly, I will say this, this post isn't sponsored. As someone that is neck deep in the AI and spatial computing space, I am super stoked about the potential here. So many applications for the new frontiers of research. And I just wanted to point this out because this release has not been getting as much attention as it deserves. So if you have some crazy ideas for this data set, drop them in the comments below. And if you find this interesting, drop me a follow for more content like this. And I will see y'all in the next one. Cheers.